right, friends, and welcome back to MTB Heat Check. Make sure to double check your work because it will autocorrect to hat check power rankings. A lot has happened since we last updated the power rankings, including the Epic Rides, Whiskey Off-Road, and the Soldier Hollow Bike Fest. Before we get started, let's quickly run down what happened this past weekend in Utah at the aforementioned Soldier Hollow Bike Fest, since it will play a big part in how the rankings shake out. The Soho Bike Fest is a four-day UCI MTB stage race that takes place in Midway, Utah. It includes a time trial, short track race, cross-country race, and marathon. Much like the epic ride races, I love these events that combine different disciplines. It adds a nice wrinkle for racers and gives fans a lot to chew on. So hey, fans, let's start chewing. Sevilla Blanc, who we hadn't seen since Sea Otter, surprised the field by taking the opening time trial for the women. Cliff Pro team teammates Katarina Nash and Haley Batten finished second and third in that event. And for the men, Keegan Swenson continued his hot streak and took the win with Chris Blevins and Stefan DeVos in second and third. In the short track race, national champ Aaron Huck showed why she wears the short track stars and stripes by taking the win. Katarina Nash again grabbed another second place, and Sofia Gomez Vichafanye picked up third. For the men, it was Blevins defending his stars and stripes short track jersey with Swenson in second and DeVos again in third place. For the cross country race, Aaron Huck for once is not battling the world champ who was not in attendance and takes the win over Batten and Vichafanye. On the men's side, Swenson wins again with Blevin second, and you guessed it, DeVos in the third spot. And finishing out the week with the marathon, Haley Batten, the young gun, tracks down Huck to take the win. Aaron finished second with Alexis Scarda finishing third. The men's marathon in a shocker, not really. It was taken by Keegan Swenson. He's winning everything. Blevins took second and Russell Finsterwald grabbed third. Overall, Soho podiums look like this. For the women, it was Huck in first, Batten second, Nash third, Blunk fourth, and Vichafanye fifth. For the men, Swenson takes it after dominating the event, Blevins comes in seconds, Richard Cypress Gorey, or just Cypress Gorey, who was hanging around the top of the field all week long, grabs third with DeVoust in fourth. Now that we're caught up, let's get to the power rankings. And here they are. We're gonna start with the men, and we've got a lot of movement in the rankings. With the Canadians and Mexicans staying at home, the rankings take on a bit more of an American look. Starting with the 11th spot, and in that spot, a man who has been fighting every race, including overcoming an early crash during the Soho XC race to grab a wide angle podium spot, Alex Wilde makes the ranking in the 11th spot. In the battle for ninth, I didn't forget about 10th, we have a bit of a two-man back and forth going on between Cole Patton and Sandy Florin. Patton came in ninth in the last ranking, Florin 10th. But slightly better results for Florin at Soho means they pull a Don Amici and are trading places this time around. Patton is 10th, Florin moves to 9th. In the A spot is the first of our Canadians. It's playoff season, which means the fourth line doesn't get as many minutes. As in hockey, this is going to affect your power ranking too, and for that reason, we're not forgetting about Dre, but Leandre Bouchard moving down from fourth to eighth. Number seven with a bullet, making his mark on the power rankings is Roll Your Devo Cypress Gory. A solid performance at Soho with top five finishes in three of the four stages and a final GC placing of third lands Gory in the seventh spot. He would have been six if he still had the dreadlocks. And in at number six is another member of the once vaunted fourth line. Much like the UCI rankings have a long tail and riders seem to hang around long after they've stopped racing, we're extending the heat check power rankings grace period a little bit, but not forever. Which is a long-winded way of saying Andrew Lesperance is number six, dropping from third. Which brings us to number five and another racer making his debut in the heat check power rankings, Stefan DeVos. A strong showing at Whiskey, followed by a fourth place finish at Soho, earned the giant off-road racer the first step on the Heat Check Power Rankings wide angle podium. After dealing with being under the weather for much of the early season, our number four racer is coming out of the haze and starting to find his legs. Cliff Pro Team, presented by Sierra Nevada's Russell Finsterwald, came out of Whiskey with a third in the crit and a second step finish in the backcountry race. He followed that up with a third place finish in the Soho XC and marathon races. Always on the front, looking for the win, Finsty moving into the rankings at number four. 
If you've been at the top of the power rankings, even when they appeared on another network, you can only drop so far. A good showing at the O Cup and a win at Paris to Ancaster could be easy rationalizations here. But the truth is, we miss our Canadian brethren here on the heat check. We want them back. And for that reason, Peter DeSera is hanging on, barely, but still hanging on to the third spot. Which means we are down to two. And this decision was not easy. Christopher Blevins is your current heat check leader who showed he's still the man with a win in the Soho short track. But that win almost seems like the exception rather than the rule at this point because Keegan Swenson is on a winning streak. That is insane. No matter the distance or the surface, Swenson is nearly unbeatable. First in the Whiskey Crit, first in the Whiskey Backcountry, first in the Soho Time Trial, first in the Soho Cross Country, first in the Soho Marathon. What do you have to do to top the heap check power rankings? That, that's what you need to do, exactly that. Keegan Swenson tops the charts. He's your number one in the MTB heat check power rankings. As we take a look at the top 11, let's get rolling with the women's rankings. Lots of debate in the heat check situation room, also known as the CX Hair Slack channel, about how the women's rankings should play out, especially after the deference we gave to the Canadians on the men's side. Can you go from the top spot all the way down to the 11th? Yes. Yes, you can. Former top spot racer Annika Langbad has left North America to try her hand at road racing before jumping back on the MTB. We aren't completely forgetting her, but she does make the biggest drop. Pulling the reverse Tufnel, Langvad goes down to 11. In the 10th spot, with consistent top 10 finishes at Whiskey and Soho, we're back with Rose Grant, number 10. She's still there, standing firm. For the ninth position, we have our first new entry into the HPR. A stunning victory at the Soho Time Trial, followed by strong top 10 performances, lands Sevilla Blanc in the rankings and in at number nine. With strong finishes at Whiskey and a third place finish in the Soho Marathon, Alexis Scarda is off to a great season. She earned an eighth place spot last time around, and she holds on to it for this time around. In the seventh spot is another racer in a holding pattern. Catherine, with an A, not an E, Pendrel, continued to improve her form with a third place finish in the Whiskey Back Country race. Concentrating on the upcoming World Cup, she skipped Soho, and that keeps her from moving up this time around. Seventh spot, Catherine Pendrel. In sixth place in her heat check power rankings is Katarina Nash. On the strength of podium finishes at Whiskey and some time spent in the leader's jersey at Soho, Nash moves up from 11th to sixth place. It's getting crowded at the top, MTB friends, and that means that even great performances may cost you when going head-to-head -head with racers putting in even greater performances. Sofia gomez Vichafanye finished third in the Soho X seat, fourth in the marathon, and fifth overall. Strong performances. But for this week, she slips one spot from fourth down to fifth. Fourth place was a tough call. Chloe Woodruff did not race at Soho and was fighting illness earlier in the month. But her standout performances at Whiskey, taking the fat tire crit and fighting back for second in the backcountry race on her home turf is enough to bump her from sixth to fourth in the rankings. And that gets us to third place. And it's our biggest mover in heat check short history, Haley Batten. She won the Pan Am U23 jersey, then missed the Otter due to illness. But she comes back stronger than ever with a fourth place at Whiskey Back Country, third in the Soho Time Trial, second in the XC, and a stunning come from behind win over Huck in the marathon. Firing in all cylinders, batting skyrockets from off the charts to third spot. Which means that only two spots remain on the Heat Check Power Rankings. Courtney and Huck. Huck and Courtney. All season long, it's been the Kate and Aaron show. Kate Courtney won the Whiskey Backcountry race going away, but then she opted out of the Soho Bike Fest. Aaron Huck suffered through the Whiskey Backcountry, but came out with a vengeance at Soho. First in the short track, first in the cross country, second in the marathon, and first overall. She still hasn't topped Courtney this season in a non-short track race head to head, but you can't beat who isn't there. So how does it play out? Does the world champ keep the top spot? Does Aaron Huck heckling me at Whiskey about her second place ranking have any sway? How does it go? 
After many rounds of deliberation in the heat check situation room, we have a ruling. The number one spot in the MTB heat check power ranking goes to Aaron Huck, which means Courtney slips to second. And there you have it. Next up for the heat check is the Epic Rides Grand Junction Off-Road. Stay tuned for all the coverage from that one. And if you want to be part of the conversation, use the hashtag, hashtag MTB Heat Check. Have any questions, comments, feedback? Hit us up at feedback at cxhairs.com. And please subscribe to the CX Hairs channel and share with your MTB friends. For CX Hairs, MTB Heat Check, and the Wide Angle Podium, I'm Bill Shikin. We'll see you next time, MTB friends.